Hi, this is Adam Hewison. I'm coming to you from the Digital Studios of Market Club. And I want to share with you today something I learned many years ago in the market at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, where I was a member for many years from the pit traders. And this works in most markets, whether it's stocks, futures, uh, foreign exchange, precious metals, or commodities. And what it is, it's a pullback rule. And when a market pulls back, you want to be able to get in there and buy it with the least amount of risk. So we're looking at right now, we're going to be doing this, demonstrating this on gold, which is pretty active and it's had a fabulous move, as you can see. We're looking from March of 2000, so almost eight years, that we've had a pretty big move up here in the gold market, and it looks like it wants to continue going up. Now, whether that's an eroding dollar, whether it's a lot of different factors, but the reality is the trend, the upward trend in gold is very much intact, and it looks like we want to go higher. So I'm going to put a hold on this. We're going to come back, and we're going to scope this in from a monthly chart all the way down to a daily chart. So stay tuned. OK, we're back, and what we're looking at right now is a daily chart of spot gold. And here's the, here's the uh, symbol, and you can find this on Market Club. But what I want to show you is pretty amazing. I found this fascinating when I first started trading, and I think you will too. And that's the ability of the market to move up. I'm going to just draw this roughly and pull back, move up, pull back, move up, pull back, and move up and pull back. Now, wouldn't it be nice to be able to predict where these pullbacks are going to stop and turn around? Sure would, wouldn't it? So what we're going to do is use a tool that we have at Market Club. This is You can use this. You can figure this out with a pen and pencil or uh, paper and just a calculator. But it, the Market Club just makes it easy for you. So what it is, the markets tend to fall back in degrees, 38%, 50%, and 62%. So here we are. I'm going to take a little f tool right here. I'm going to click on the very high here. And this is how you do it. You click on the very high, and you also click on the very, very low. And you should see these lines come across here. And this, these are the 50, 38%, 50%, 62%. So it means the markets pull back into these lines. So this really, in theory, would be an area of support. And of course, it did prove to be just that as the market moved higher. Now, let me take this off the screen. And let me take this off the screen here, too. Well, let's look at another retracement. What you want to do is take the low to the high. So here's the high. Here is the low. Or you could say, this is the low. I'm going to go with this low, because this looks better to me. So here we are. We are seeing retracements. First of all, here, that's a 38. And then finally, down to the 50% level. And then you have a move up, which is very good. So the question is, how often does this happen? Well, it happens more often than you can imagine. So I'm going to take this off the screen again, click this off, simple clean up the screen. I'm going to go back to my tool, and I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click here. And just look at how this market came back, first of all, to the 38% level here, then to the 50%, and almost hit the 62% level before moving up again. So if you're looking at an extreme, you want to be looking at the 62% level, because it's very seldom the market will go much beyond that level before reversing, if it's a move like this or like this. So that's what you want to look for. So here we are. Let's take everything off the screen again. And I'm going to look at this a little bit differently. I'm going to look at this market in terms of this is the leg, because we've actually exceeded the up move here. So I want to just show you how I'm looking at this market. So I'm going to put it low here. Oops, let me just get the tool again. Put a low here and a high here. And look at how this, I'm going to scope this in a little closer for you so you can get a better view. So we actually went from the high here and the low here. And these pullbacks, you can see the numbers. 9.11.25 exceeded that. 90601 exceeded that, but just really on this day at the lows around 900, that was 62%. Look at how we just went below that a little bit and we've come right back up. So, my guess is we're going to see this market have a push up and take this out. However, if I'm wrong and this level is taken out, then it's a different ball game, it's a different pattern. So, let's just take this off the screen for now. 
Now, why do we short the market on this rally back here? So I'm going to show you why. So we put high in, click on the high, click the low. And as you can see, look at how we are seeing all of these days. The close is way out. This close, this close, this close. This is a lot of activity over the 62% retracement line, which tells me maybe, just maybe, the trend is going higher. Now, we only have to look at our other indicators to know that the trend's going higher. So here's what we're going to do. Let's just take this off the screen again, take everything off. I'm going to go to our weekly charts. Actually, yeah, our weekly charts. Click here. Pretty clear the trend is up. If we put in our indicators, indicators on the monthly charts, this is a buy point here. Trend's been going up for one, two, three, four, five, six months. Looks like it wants to continue. I'm going to go to our weekly charts from December 26th. The trend has been up. So all the indicators are saying that the longer term trends are going higher. We can also go all the way out and look at the quarterly charts. And look at how this has been consistently moving higher. And these are quarterly charts. And this is from basically one, two, three, four, five quarters ago, a year and a quarter ago, we actually got long on a long term charts seeing the market's going to go higher. And as I say, here's the quarterly charts right here you can look at on Market Club. So let's go back to our dailies and see how can we utilize this tool. If you have these moves, and this is what we're looking at, this is what makes the market. And you can do it in the reverse. Obviously, when a, when a trend is going higher, you want to be, that's a little move there, as we looked at. The move goes up at Keene, comes back down. This is the moves we looked at in the retracement level. Same here. These are the retracement. Now, this is a little bit different, and we've come down again. So we're looking at this level right here, right around the 900 level, to be a buyer of gold, basis the spot market. Now, if we're right, then this market is going to continue going higher. And if we're wrong, we pretty much know where we want to put our stops, which is a tight stop below this recent low. We shouldn't take that out. If we do, then this is a different pattern that we're not recognizing. OK, I'm going to explain to you in this next slide exactly what this rule is and how you can utilize it. So stay tuned. Hi, Zad. I just want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about the Fibonacci retracement rule that we're talking about now, take a look at learn more about Fibonacci life and times. If you want to learn more about the tool, click there. And also, if you want to watch more videos, Click right here. Have a great day.